You know the advice I don't like when someone says, if I can do it, you can do it. Mm -mm. That's not good advice at all. Only because there's so much nuance in how success even happens. Um, there's context that's missing from that advice. So when you tell somebody, if I can do it, you can do it, it's just missing so much nuance and it sets that person up for failure. So you can read as many success stories as you want, um, but your life has certain nuances and contexts that only belong to you. And you have to, be, you have to discover that on your own. There's no, there's no, there's no silver bullet. There's no silver bullet. And um, I'm, I'm reading somebody's. I'm, I'm talking about this because I'm reading somebody's biography story of you know a person that is doing something that I would like to do one day, um, or what I'm aspiring for, I should say. And I'm just reading, and I'm like, it's his. This person's life took so many different turns so many different things had to happen for that to happen so that's what you have to trust in you knowing and believing you are the person who you think you are and there are bits and pieces you can take from people yes from a principle stand you can take principles from people you can take frameworks how someone thinks but that exact path sometimes and I've done this you know when I was younger is you think that you try to mimic that path um, and it just, it's not organic. It's not organic. So one of the things that you have to be able to, when you're reading somebody's biography or reading how other people did things, you have to really be able to separate out the meat from the bone, literally, so that you know, okay, these are the principles, these are the mindsets that I can definitely um, apply and integrate into whatever you're doing but to tell somebody that because i did it you did it that's really bad advice i'm telling you it's bad advice so take with a grain of salt but i wanted to share that because i'm being triggered right now by by this